Hi, in today's lesson we're going to review class tracking in QuickBooks. And basically this is a way to break down different segments of a single business. And basically what this amounts to is, let's just say for our sample company here on, on the screen, we have a landscape company. This landscape company has a maintenance division, a design division, and an irrigation division. And the owner of the company wants to be able to figure out how much money, let's just say the irrigation department's bringing in versus how much money he's spending in the irrigation department, just to see if it's profitable. With class tracking, you're able to do that. Because basically what will happen is you can create a profit and loss statement that will show you each segment of your business, or should I say each line of business within your business, how much money's coming in and how much money's going out. So again, we're going to review that today and exactly how to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up the different classes for your business. And the way to do this is to go into list up here in the toolbar, go all the way down to where it says class list. And as you'll see, we have design, landscape, maintenance, and overhead. Overhead is basically your SG&A costs or your salaries, your general expenses such as office expenses and everything there's usually not gonna be any income coming into overhead, but it's just for you to be able to maintain those expenses. You don't have to create that account, it's your preference. But again, going back to the basics, here's our three different types of business that we do within the landscape company. But now we wanna go in and we wanna create an irrigation segment or an irrigation line of business or department. So basically what you would do is you would go down here to where it says class, you would create new, and we're going to call our, our class Irrigation. And if you want to make it a subclass, which means you want it to be a class within a class, um, basically saying design, you could break down the design to being home design and commercial design or home maintenance versus commercial maintenance. It's completely up to you, or you can just leave it a class of its own. You would hit OK. And as you see here, here's one of our classes. So now we have design, irrigation, landscape, and maintenance, and overhead as our, our classes. All right, now that our class codes are set up, let's begin to use them in our daily functions within QuickBooks. Now we're going to start with our customers. And you can use these for the sales orders, which you'll see a class indication here at the top. But for this sample, we're going to go ahead and just use them as invoices because not everybody has sales orders. So to be able to use them in, in, in your actual QuickBooks daily functions, create your invoice as you normally would for any customer. And you may have class codes on your actual invoices, or you may not, but if you do, um, the class code would be whatever your class code is. We're going to say ours is irrigation. Okay, but normally what you would do is where it says customer job and it says class, you would hit the down arrow and you would select which class this is going to fall in. Again, many of us don't have classes on our actual invoices. So this is where you would put it, class and then what division or what line of business or what location you want this to fall under. Ours is going to be irrigation. So once you're done creating the invoice, you would hit save and close. And that's how you create an invoice with class tracking. Simple, right? Well, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put some expenses through to these different classes. And there's a couple ways you can do this. One in which is you can enter a bill. And again, my, my bills are going to be for years out because this is a training and a sample file. So you would just basically create your bill like you normally would. And then over here, if you want to put a customer job for job costing reasons, you can. And then you can put the class here at the very, very end. You can select what class this is. And 
and that's how you would create an expense. Now, if you're writing a regular check, again, you'd write the check like you normally would anything else. Okay. And then, like I said, if you want to put a customer job because your job costing, go ahead. And then again, your class would be whatever class, division, location, however you had them set up, wherever it would fall. And that's how you would set up the different expenses for the classes. Now, to create a report showing how much money is being made and how much money is being spent per class, you'd want to go into your report center up here on the toolbar. Go into your company and financials. Scroll all the way down to where it says profit and loss by class. And this is your report. So as you see up here, you have the different classes. Now the ones that are unclassified are basically activities that you did not classify as a line of business or as a segment of business or as a location. And you can always go in and correct those things by just double clicking on it. You see the activities. Just go in there and change the information. Just double click on them, go in there and change them to update them. Okay. And refresh your report. And as you see, some of the unclassified information has been classified. But basically, as you see, here's your income for design, here's your income for irrigation, here's your income for landscaping, maintenance, so on and so forth. And then below it is all your expenses for each one of those different departments. And if you scroll all the way over, you'll see your actual total profit and loss. So basically, it takes all the information from all these different departments and creates a bottom line or an actual total, a cumulative total for all your different classes. Now let's just say that you don't want a profit and loss by class. Let's just say you want a regular profit and loss statement. There's your regular profit and loss statement. Not broken out by class or anything. You have to tell it that you want the information to be done by class. And that's how you use class tracking in QuickBooks. If you have any further questions, feel free to go ahead and email us, visit our website, or visit our blog for details. And if you would like some tutorials on some other QuickBook methods or activities, go ahead and send us a comment here on our YouTube page, or send us an email, and we'll be sure to help you. Good luck.